goodness, Ninja, did you bring this big box in all by yourself? Thank you so much, Kitty Cat. Okay, bye. G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell unboxing video. Oh my goodness, would you get a load of the size of this box? It's a big one, oh my. This is actually a box from a wonderful lady named Trudy. This is the third box she sent me. Um, and I can't believe it. Like seriously, I don't feel like I deserve this kind of kindness. My goodness. And uh, yeah, the amount of effort and expense that goes into putting a box like this together and then sending it to the other side of the world. Like, thank you so, so much, Trudy. I can't wait to, to dig into it. So uh, yeah, let's just go for it. So here we go, got the uh, the paper wrap off of it and covered up a few more personal details on the top and I think I'm ready to go, oh my goodness. So yes, I hope everyone will give a big thank you to Trudy in the comments for not the first, not the second, but the third box. And if you do want to see the other boxes that she has sent me full of seashells, they are on the channel and I will leave a link to them in the description for anyone who wants to watch them because they were full of amazing shells as well. So yeah, I can't wait to see what's in this one. I actually do know one that's in this one and I'll share that story in a little bit, but for now, my goodness, let's get into this. Ooh, packaging. Ooh, I love this stuff. It's all like, it's like um, wadding or something. Oh, look at that. I got some cards in here, guys. These are probably gonna be for my pleasure only. Dear Maddie, I hope you enjoy the seashell box. My specialty are international shells, so they are all really unique. More to come in the future. Enjoy. Much love, Trudy. Golden carry most expensive gem quality. Oh my goodness. So yes, and I was going to get to that story later, but yes, I did know that Trudy actually has sent me, of all things, a very, very costly golden cowrie. Thank you so, so much to her. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so now let's get into the box. I see some nice padding over here, some more, something else in here, and a lovely colorful box. Let's have a look at the box, alrighty. Oh, there we go. Um, For now, oh my goodness, this is a very big box. I might have to, oh, oh, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this down here. Oh my goodness, isn't that freaking lovely? Look at this beautiful box with flowers on it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay, much excite, much excite. What has Trudy got in store for me? Lots of bubble wrap, very good, very well packaged. Whoa! Oh my goodness, look at that one! Wow! Oh my goodness, love sand dollars. Can I, I might just cut that sticky tape because I don't want to put any pressure on the packaging. Oh, look at him. I actually did get a card from Trudy that mentioned this sand dollar. Didn't think I had one in the box for me. The Arrowhead sand dollar from Mexico. Would you look at that? I look, it's kind of got like a very subtle shade of pink around those uh, little star uh, sections. Uh, I don't know what to call the markings on top of sand dollars. I'm sure they have a name. Wow, look at that. It's huge. It is like pristine as well. Oh my goodness. That is so nice. That is so, so nice. Oh my goodness. We do, I mean, we get sand dollars in Australia, but I'm, I don't think we get the Arrowhead sand dollars or if we do, I'd, I've got no idea. I don't think we do. My goodness, that's wonderful. Oh my God, I'm in love with that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna put that on some uh, bubble wrap that I just took out and put them up to the side, trying not to knock him. That's wonderful. It feels like almost chalky, but not. It's very unusual. Oh, yep, put that right with that so I know what it is. I mean, I won't forget what it is, obviously. Ooh, oh, look at this little golden baggie. It's so nice. Oh, look at that, it's from Fossil Era. So I actually got a fossil from Trudy before from the same place and it was a shark tooth fossil. This one is an oyster fossil. Here's some information about it. Oh, it's found in Madagascar. That's cool. Let's take a look. <gasps> Ooh. Is this an oyster? Is this an I am shocked. I didn't think oysters looked like this. Oh, I suppose, like, if those are its teeth where it opened, I am so baffled, that is incredible. It's also quite heavy and nice and cool too. Wow, like if you didn't tell me that was an oyster, 
I would think that's like a petrified crab leg or something. That's super cool. All the way from the late Jur Jurassic, 160 million years ago. Oh, that's kind of amazing, Trudy. Oh my goodness. Trudy, thank you so, so much. That is incredibly cool. If you didn't tell me that was a seashell, I would have no idea. Am I just that, am I that out of touch, everyone? Would you have known that this was a seashell? That is so unusual. Oh my goodness. We'll put them to the side for now. Oh, look at this one. What's in here? Oh, wow. This is another one from Fossil Era. Hold on. Put it down gently. We'll get out the little card first. This one is... Uh, a clam from the late Jurassic is also found near Madagascar or near Sakahara in Madagascar. Woo! Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Fossilized clam, everyone. And it's got like, I don't know, it feels like rock in there. It's really super duper unusual. My goodness. And yet, after so many, how many millions of years, it's still shinier than half the calories I see at the beach. Oh my goodness. My goodness, wow, of course, that's where the, uh, the hinge is, where the hinge joins. Isn't it crazy to think that after so many years, it still has like the hinge there? Of course, I also think this is maybe like possibly polished um, at some point. Wow, that is so cool. It is also very heavy. It feels like it's at least half a pound, like a quarter kilo. That is a very heavy fossil. That's super cool. Oh my goodness. What a, what a unusual, I mean, I'm not unusual, but what a like a absolutely like out of the way thinking of things to, to unbox first. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> oh my God, everyone. Wow. Oh my goodness. So this is the Supraya orantum. It might also be the Lincina orantum these days. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a live taken one too from the Philippines. Um, old collection 1996 from the Kefel Museum in the Philippines. Oh my goodness, this is an ex-museum shell? My goodness, are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh my goodness, let's get that down a bit into the light. Wow. Oh my goodness, Trudy, look at this guy. So, oh my God, would you look at that? And you can kind of see like a, a darker stripe of banding across the top is very subtle. Oh my goodness, Trudy. So I actually do already have a golden calorie. And I told Trudy like, oh, I just got myself a golden calorie uh, in one of our emails that we send out to each other. And she's like, no, 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 don't buy a golden calorie. I'm going to send you. And I'm like, no, Trudy, don't send me one. Keep it for many, many years and enjoy it. And I said to her, I already bought it. <laughs> you can keep your golden calorie now. And in the end, she has still decided to send it to me. Oh my goodness, that's freaking beautiful. My goodness, everyone. I can't explain to you how absolutely wonderful this is. Golden calories are pretty rare. To find them in this kind of like gem condition is pretty rare. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so, so much, Trudy. This is like, it's, it's not a cheap calorie to part with. It's, and it's so beautiful. Like, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. It's actually more orange in real life. Oh my God, thank you so, so much, Trudy. That's, that's gonna be the favorite, irrespective of anything, because, uh, oh my goodness, that is just freaking lovely. Wow, I can't believe that. Just your generosity, Trudy, it's, it's too much for me. Oh my goodness. That's huge. Oh my goodness, of course, I'm gonna get out the last thing that is in this box. Oh, it's heavy. Oh wow, it's really heavy. That feels like at least a whole pound, like at least half a kilo. This is a fossil sand dollar. I'm gonna to try to pronounce the species. I didn't try it with the other ones, but I feel, I'm feeling confident. Uh, Pygurus mamonti, or mamonti possibly. Wow. It's from the same place near Madagascar. Again, it is from Fossil Era. So if you guys wanna get your own fossils, I guess go over to Fossil Era. Um, I do believe it is a store. I don't know if it's online or not. It probably is in the United States somewhere. My goodness, I'm gonna get a bit more of this uh, bubble wrap so I can put this shell down on it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I like how it says made in Madagascar, like it's a, it's a man-made product. Wow, 
wow, would you look at that? It is so beautiful. It's like quite rough on the bottom, like you like a rock, and yet the top of it looks like it has been polished. I'd say, wow, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the lovely little star pattern on it. Oh, I can't get enough of that. That is like, oh my goodness, like fossilized petrified sand dollar. Oh my God, I can't stop looking at that. That's beautiful. Oh. Oh, I really like that one. I really like that. That is so super duper gorgeous. All right, we'll put them right up there for now while I get the next thing out. What's this? Alrighty, I just grabbed this one out. Not actually sure what's in here. It feels very light. I see some pictures of some sand dollars. I'm not sure if there's shells in here or if it's like a little like card or something. Let's have a little look, see? Hold on. It's like, it's like unwrapping like presents or something. Oh, there is a, there is a shell in here. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Got myself a little sand dollar right here. Oh my, legend of the sand dollar. Hold on, can I, can I read it? Hold on. Oh, it's, it's a postcard. Oh, it's from, it's from, uh, it's found on the southern coast of Florida in great numbers. I guess this is one of them. Oh, oh, it's covered up my, uh, my things. Let's read one of the facts, shall we? When turned upside down, as seen below, a poinsettia and Christmas flower can be de uh, detected, portraying his nativity. I don't know about that, but we'll say yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, I had no idea that the, uh, I had no idea that the sand dollar had a lot of uh, representations in Christianity. That's, that's fairly interesting. My goodness, Legend of the Sand Dollar from Florida. That is super cute. I've got a Florida sand dollar. Alrighty, we'll put them next to the big sand dollar. Oh, I'm just, oh my God, I want to keep touching that one. Wow, look at this. My goodness, that is large. That is super large. Is that a fingernail clam? It's a... Hold on, we'll get this one out too. My goodness, my goodness, it is a jack knife clam from uh, Outer Banks, North Carolina. Oh, Trudy found this herself. Oh my goodness, everyone, it's self collected by the lady in question. Wow. Oh my goodness, it kind of reminds me of the fingernail clams that I find here, except this one's obviously bigger and curvier and kind of heaps more fantastic. Oh, I really like that one. And it's such a nice one too. Trudy, thank you so much for, for giving me one of these shells that you collected on one of your few trips out to the ocean. That is amazing. Alrighty, we'll grab the next thing out. Oh, got myself a little baggy. Look at that. What do we have in here? Let's take a look. Wow. Oh my goodness, we've got, uh, well, I've got a banded tun shell. Oh, he's so heckin' cute, everyone. Oh my God. So I can find tun shells here. I don't, I can't find banded tun shells here, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, is, I gotta like Google stuff now. Where do you get banded tuns from? Are they an American shell or are they from um, some Pacific Island nations? Oh, such a nice one. It's so lovely and glossy too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's very like, I don't want to say delicate. I might just put him uh, right over here for now. He can go next to Mr. Fossilized Clam. And right next to him. Okay. So that was the, uh, the banded ton. This is a juvenile noble volute. Wow. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. He's got like that cutest knobbly tip as well. Isn't he wonderful? So I actually do have one noble volute in my cabinet right now. It's not as nice as this one, I must say. This one's a little like fattening is so much cuter. Oh my goodness, the noble volute. I have a feeling that the noble volute is from the Philippines. I'm not sure if it's an Australian shell. I think it might be a Filipino shell. Oh, he's so cute and adorable. I wonder if he was polished actually, or if that's his natural sheen. I'm very, very like curious about that now. He's so heckin' nice. Alrighty, let's grab it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I just noticed this one in the box. Oh my goodness. 
my goodness, let's have a look at this. Wow, it's a Murex, everyone. Um, I'm so glad I did not read the paper that Trudy sent that tell, told me what was in the box to begin with. It's much more fun being surprised. It is a pink Murex. How about that? Oh my goodness, everyone. Look at those lovely spines on it. It's so heckin' adorable. Oh, it just, it feels so nice as well. Oh, that is a very nice Murex. Look at how lovely and pink it is. Right around the opening there. Oh my goodness. Gosh, what a lovely one. I love Murex shells, so if I had to like class my favorite shell species, it would be like calories first, and then the second favorite would actually be Murexes and not cones or something or olive shells. Although I do, I do like those shells, but oh my goodness, love Murexes. Mr. Murex can go right there. Oh my goodness. Ooh, got one of these. Got myself a lovely box of seashells. Much excite, very excite. Oh my goodness, again, thank you so, so much to Trudy for doing all of this for me. I still can't believe it. You are just, and she has like such a wonderful collection as well. She's got so many amazing shells from around the world. She really is too kind to uh, to send me these. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, wow. I'm gonna take these out very carefully. I think I'm just gonna take them out while they're in the box. We have a scorpion spider conch, which is the smaller one, and a spider conch, which is the larger one. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, would you look? Oh, he's nice. Look at him. He's such an adorable one. Oh my goodness. And the spines on him look so, so sharp and nice. Wow. That is an absolutely beautiful shell. So I also, yes, I also do like spider conches. They're just not really a shell that you see much in Australia, maybe in Indonesia, or maybe from like some parts in Northern Australian regions. I want to say, wow, it's so super duper cool. I think the scientific name for this one should be something like Lambis Scorpio, but I could be wrong. That's just what I'm gonna go with. Oh my goodness, I might put him off camera a little bit so I don't accidentally knock him and damage any of his spines. And this one is the spider conch. Let's take a look. <gasps> wow, oh no, did he lose like a teeny bit of his spine right there? Oh no. Let's grab him out. Wow, isn't that coloration on him absolutely fantastic? Oh my goodness, yes, he is a spider conch. Oh, that's so nice. That's so cool. I actually do have a spider conch from Mr. Scheller um, in, oh, was it the last unboxing, I think? Oh my goodness, just love these though. Absolutely fantastic kind of shell. Let me just bring that down just a little bit more. Wow, that super dark patterning is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, we're just gonna put him up here as well. Again, I do not want to knock his lovely spines. Oh, oh, more goodies in here. Hold on, let's take a look at this one. Wow, it's another conch shell. So, oh sorry, not a, yeah, conch, sorry. So strombus is literally means conch. So this is some kind of strombus shell. Oh, would you look at this? It's got like giant pointy points on him. He is apparently called a rooster conch. My God, I've never even heard nor seen one of these in my life. Look at how amazing that is. My goodness, I have absolutely no idea where this one's from. I mean, is it from like, it's not a United States shell, is it? Is this from like a Pacific island or like an Indo-Pacific island, maybe like the Philippines? I've got no idea, that is fantastic. I love all the textures on it, it feels so good, it's pointed so sharp. Oh my goodness, that's a very nice shell. Ooh. My goodness, and in with it was this guy. Let's take a look at him. Oh, look at that. It's a Japanese land snail called Fairyland. Oh, whoa, look at how big and shiny he is. Look at that lovely stripy pattern on him. Oh my goodness. So I actually, I really like land snails. But um, I don't actually want to go looking for land snails in Australia because I would have to look like in like the river areas and the bushland areas. And there's a lot of dangerous uh, crocodiles, well, not really around here, but there's lots of dangerous like snakes and spiders around here. 
and like ticks and stuff. And I don't really want to get eaten, bitten or poisoned by any one of those. Oh my goodness, that is freaking wonderful. Japan, I don't know, Japan has some actually amazing stuff. I was actually talking to um, Mr. Sheller the other day. Uh, and I was talking to him about a place in Japan that actually has sand that is star-shaped. There is literal star-shaped sand in some islands around Japan. So yeah, Japan has like, Japan has all the cool stuff, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Wow, I'm, I'm like, I got eyes on that bonnet straight away. Oh my goodness, let's look at the bonnet. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at the point on Mr. Bonnet here. He is a striped bonnet. You know, I am fairly certain that striped bonnets are in Queensland, Australia, where I live. But I have never seen one at the beach. As you know, I find, um, I actually do have one over here. I have a checkered bonnet over here. As you know, we find checkered bonnets here and the occasional banded bonnet, although probably more banded bonnets than checkered bonnets. Oh, I've never actually seen a striped one like this. I'm sorry, yeah, a striped bonnet. Wow, and it's in such nice condition. That point is so good on it. Oh, those textures are so nice. It's lovely and shiny too. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that just look heaps nicer than the checkered bonnet? Oh, I really wish we could find striped bonnets at my beach. We might be able to, but I've never seen anyone find them. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, love the bonnet. That's a, that's a, I like that bonnet. That is very, very cute. Where can I put him? I'm just gonna put him right there, I think. He is freaking lovely. Oh, what else is in here? Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that one. Wow, what's this one? Is it like a strawberry top? Hold on, we got, uh, we got some little, ooh, we got lots of things in here. Is it, is not, okay, that's not the one for it. Ooh, it's a mystery shell. It's not a sea bean and it's not a chocolate swirl land snail. So I guess these three, you know, are these ones, I wanna say, I think I have seen these in my seashell book around here. A lined top shell, I want to call them, or at least the green ones anyway. I think they're lined top shells, you know. My goodness, aren't they lovely? They've got lovely nacre, or nacre, I never know how to pronounce it, the shiny mother of pearl stuff on the inside of them, which kind of denotes them as top shells. Not sure if this guy's the same though. Lovely pink spotty dude, oh my goodness, love these top shells. They are so, so pretty. But let's look at uh, the land snails, and what's this? It's a sea bean from a plant. A sea bean from a plant. Guys, have you ever seen a sea bean before? It is from a plant from Outer Banks in North Carolina. So uh, my North Carolina peeps, it doesn't, it doesn't make a sound. A sea bean, that is so cool. I, that is like way, way, I was not expecting that. That is, wow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, here we go. Oh, the striped bonnet is that one. And uh, red and green trochuses. Oh, okay, there we go. I want to really, I really want to look at these guys. My goodness, let's have a little look, see. Wow, aren't they nice? Oh, this one's got a lovely black swirl on his swirl. I love how they're both like same, same, but different. It's kind of like the great thing about shells, isn't it? Everyone is unique, just like every person is unique. Wow. So these are the chocolate swirl land snails. And you know, I think these might be from the Philippines. That is my best guess anyway. Oh, they're so cute. I really love that dark brown color on them. They look like absolutely gorgeous shells. I almost said seashells. No, they are land snails. That's super cool. Oh. Oh, I've got a little stand for my fossil sandola. Oh my God. Oh my God, Trudy, you are too much. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect, it stands up now. <laughs> I'm unreasonably happy with that. That is, that is wonderful. There we go, what's in here? Let's have a little look in this box. I already see like one of the tiniest calories I've ever spotted. Oh my. Goodness, look at him. Supreya punctata, the dotted cowrie. So did you know that I can actually find dotted cowries at my beach? Although after a whole year of searching for this rare cowrie, I have never spotted it. Like I know that Mr. Scheller has found a few of them at, at Point Cartwright where I go shelling, or he's found at least one or two. I've never seen them before. So I kind of like, 
I don't think they exist. No, I think Mr. Scheller definitely lied about that. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm being a heathen and cutting straight through this little plastic baggie. Wow. Oh, it's so small, everyone. Oh my goodness, I don't trust myself not to drop that. Oh, look at that tiny dotted gallery. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. Oh my, that could be, wait, is that my smallest calorie ever? You know, I think it could be my smallest calorie ever. Wow, that's such a nice little dude. I'm gonna put him right here. Everyone keep an eye on him. Make sure I don't accidentally like send him flying somewhere else. Oh my. And what else was in here? Ooh, what was in here? What was in here? It's a, uh... ooh, look at him. What's this? Everyone, do you know what this is? Hold on. It's a, uh... it's a, uh... Chama Polyphore from the Philippines. Oh my goodness. So it is a type of, um, because Chama shells, Oh, don't, don't do that. So Chama shells are a type of jewel box or a type of clam. Oh my goodness, look, oh, it's fish-like because it looks like a, like it's got like little fins there and it's like a little, it's like dum 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 dum. Ooh, he's very cute. Lovely joined Chama Polyphora, I think it was. Oh my goodness, that is super unusual. I've never seen one of those. Didn't know they even existed. That is amazing. Oh no, here it was. Yeah, Polyphore. Wow. And I think this is the last one in the box, guys. This guy. It is a. Hold on. A Mitra Mitra Mita from Hawaii. Oh my god, he's so cute. You know, I actually did want one of these shells um, because I have seen them online. And I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. Because we get Mita shells here that look very similar, but they don't have any of these nice like little bumps around their swirls like this. But uh, oh my goodness, I've got one now and he's such a cute little guy. Oh my god. I do think that these shells can get a little bit bigger. I think, just from memory. Wow, and the coloration on that is so nice. Look at those textures, it's got like dimples around it. My goodness, what an absolutely fantastic seashell. That is super duper awesome. Oh my good golly goodness, Trudy, this is way, way more than I deserve. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, so let's, let's bring this up a bit, uh, shall we? <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Sorry everyone, I already made that joke. How long until it gets like uh, to be a bad joke? Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at all of these shells that Trudy has sent me, everyone. This is like absolutely just because she is one of the most generous people I have ever seen, ever met. And I just, I don't deserve this, guys. Oh my goodness. This is way more than what anyone should give me. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. Thank you so, so much, Trudy. And thank you to each and every one of you who has uh, been watching my videos and enjoying them as I show you all of these new and interesting things. Wow, look at all of these. Oh my goodness. Just absolutely amazing shells from so many different places around the world. And please tell me, do you guys have a favorite? Let me know down in the comments which shell was your favorite and which one you think Trudy absolutely just like blew us away with. So for me, the favorite without a doubt has to be Oh my goodness, this absolutely beautiful golden cowrie, an ex-museum shell from the Philippines from 1996. Wow, that's kind of amazing. That's like a 26-year-old seashell right here, and it still looks like as good as the day it came out of the water. I cannot get over that. My God, and I've got like, I've got more favorites because I really love this like big, chunky, petrified, fossilized sand dollar from Madagascar. Oh my God, that's wonderful. Absolutely love that. As well as this lovely arrow sand dollar from Mexico. I'm sorry, arrowhead sand dollar from Mexico. 
Oh, I can't get over that. That's so freaking nice. That is so good. That's just, oh my goodness, absolutely wonderful. So once again, thank you so, so much, Trudy. And thank you to everyone who has watched this video as well. And I guess that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.